Hello everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. I hope you will find this interesting and you can learn from it. As always, if you'd like to support me in creating these few free tutorials, please follow the link down below and support me in any way you can. Thank you very much. Hi there, today we're going to do a simple uh, image development in Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4, also known as DPP4. What we're going to do is we've opened up in the edit image window. I have all my tool palettes set ready. The first one is for a lens, digital lens optimizer. I click on there. Basically what this is, is where you take the factory technical settings of the lens itself and apply it to your photo. That we can make sure that we're 100% uh, accurate uh, with the uh, information available. We also click on peripheral illumination just to make sure that if there is any vignetting that it will make sure that uh, the image will be okay and that you know um, that there's no problem with dark spots or dark corners. We can also get there we go nice and it's brightened up the whole image and then we'll just check distortion. The second step I like to do is I like to go to the crop tool Basically, this image was shot um, with a slightly shorter lens than I would have liked, so I've actually left room to, uh, to, to crop the image afterwards. I'm a firm believer in uh, being able to crop your images, not having to rely on uh, having very, very long focal lengths with birds. Obviously, there's a limitation. I don't crop more than 50% as a rule, but here I'm using a, um, a, a, a 28 or 30 megapixel camera, so there's enough room to crop at least 50%. The aspect ratio is over here is 3 by 2, standard 35 millimeter. There you have all the other various types of um, crop ratios. So basically, I'm going to have a quick look. Click with the left mouse button down. I'm going to drag open my composition over here. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. Rule of thirds. And yeah, not uh, too bad. Nice flow here with a rock. These species of grass. Uh, we then move on to the image editing window which is the main window that controls a lot of the things you do yeah we have brightness adjustment at the top I'm happy with the exposure on this down a look here at the histogram ETTR exposed to the right so I've kept a lot of detail in the light areas uh, white balance you have the various settings over here I like using auto this pretty much has the right feel to it uh, auto light optimizer this one is on in the camera Basically what you're doing is you're optimizing the highlights and the shadows and I like to use it on full strength to make 100% sure that I'm getting the maximum out of the file. Picture style here is auto. Um, that's normally what the camera is set on, that on neutral. So let's go and click on neutral as if we're starting with a completely blank raw file here. We move down. Um, here we go. Looks pretty dull and dark now. So let's have a look what uh, auto will look like again. Here we go, color saturation. So it's automatically moved these sliders for us and shown us what's uh, happening. Uh, sharpness, I like to keep sharpness at um, six when I work with Digital Photo Professional. It gives me a good average sharpening for web. Uh, when I print, I use unsharp mask. So we've used the auto setting and believe it or not, auto looks pretty good with the picture style. You'll have a look here, I didn't move the clarity slider. That only works with some of the very latest cameras. Um, March 2020, Canon released the Canon 1DX Mark III. So this is designed for the 1DX Mark III. Hopefully with future editions of DPP, they will make it retrofit to other models of cameras. So. Yes, there we go. I'm pretty happy with that file. Looks good. Colors balanced. We can now export that file, change that file for different type of media, whether it be social media or printing. If you're interested in resizing this for social media, you can have a look through the tutorial blogs I've already done. There is one where we resize an image for uh, web use. Thanks very much. I hope you uh, learned something from this. As always, like, subscribe, and I look forward to sharing more with you.